Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today with the crystals experiment set from Mel Chemistry, you will grow blue crystals of copper sulfate, also known as cupric sulfate. Perform this experiment on a plastic tray to keep the table clean and contain any spills. Make sure to put on gloves and protective glasses before you start. To open a bottle with a regent, push the cap down and turn it. For the cupric sulfate experiment, you'll need copper sulfate, a syringe without a needle, a plastic rod and a petri dish. From the starter kit, take a disposable cup and a beaker. Also, prepare a kettle of boiling water. Pour approximately 100 milliliters of boiling water into the beaker. Using the syringe, Take 10 milliliters of the hot water and add it to the disposable cup. Next, add one bottle of copper sulfate to the cup. Now set the cup inside the beaker with the boiling water. Take the plastic rod and carefully stir the contents of the cup from time to time for about 10 minutes. As we can see, most of copper sulfate dissolves. Carefully pour the solution into a petri dish while leaving the remaining crystals in the cup. Leave the petri dish with the solution on the tray. Within one to two hours, the first crystals will form in the solution. After that, carefully set the petri dish in a safe place where it won't be disturbed or touched. In the next one to two hours, the crystals will grow even larger. The solubility of a substance depends on the water temperature. Generally, the higher the temperature, the more of the compound dissolves. This is somewhat true for copper sulfate. Although it dissolves well in hot water, it does not dissolve completely. As the water cools down, blue crystals precipitate out of the solution. In addition, as the water evaporates over time, more and larger crystals form. We recommend carrying out the cupric sulfate and red crystals experiments one after another, preferably on the same day so that you can compare the rate at which the red and blue crystals grow. Please visit the Mel Science website to learn more about these experiments.